This is the world's tallest bodybuilder. He transformed from skinny to a real life giant. And this is how he did it. How the Dutch giant gained 70 kilograms in eight years. That's an entire me. Actually, check this out. He officially doubled his weight. When he started working out, he was 80 kilograms. What? Being this tall has so many crazy stories. Like he's acting in the new Indiana Jones movie. Harrison Ford looks like a baby next to him. And this is his daily routine. Look at this. What? These are all tall people around him. I'm seven foot two, two meter 18 in length. It's up there. People just taking pictures because he's him. And because he's that tall. The crazy thing about this is, the taller you are, the harder it is to show your muscles. You can be big, but on pictures you look like tiny. This guy, looks massive and he is very tall the tallest bodybuilder the fact that this guy is in great shape for his size is just unbelievable 8 a.m wake up okay he probably needs to sleep hey he's got a birdie is a bird that's so cute the fact that his best friend is a tiny little bird officially makes the dutch giant the coolest guy in the extreme muscle world oh, but you see that a lot with like very big guys that they're just very sweet guys also. yeah yeah do you see those stretch marks oh that's yes, a lot of stretch marks lot of first thing i want to do is get my metabolism up, going Start into eating. a muscle building state. Because he needs to eat so much just to be himself. Yes. But he wants to gain muscle. And he also just needs to eat the entire day. I heard that he wakes up in the middle of the night. No. To eat. No. So he takes some supplements to feel more hungry. My breakfast consists of six eggs, 200 grams of oats, and 40 grams of whey protein. My breakfast is the biggest meal of the day. It's 1400 calories and 85 grams of protein. The crazy thing is, he is not a strongman. So he's not no, no, like, no, no. he's not eating like 10,000 calories, but he's probably needing like 6,000 plus calories. After my breakfast, I make sure I make four prepped meals. My fridge is full of prepped food, rice, chicken, vegetables. I only have to pour it into a container. This guy now owns a meal prep service company. Yes. I firmly believe that is just because he was just tired of it. <laughs> yes. When people go into my car, they sometimes ask me, did, did you sleep in your car? And it's because the chair is so oh. up to the back that I can look Yo. in my rear window. <laughs> he needs to think about everything. Everything is for normal sized people. Also just doing an activity, like does he fit in normal cinema chairs? You have to check this out. You have to check this out, yeah? So you got the Dutch giant. Yes, but also Hofter I mean, Bjornsson. You put it next to each other and then you get this. Like, this is it's like... Like what the hell? I've never seen anyone tower over the mountain. He actually makes Thor look small. This picture really shows just how huge this guy is. He's literally the mountain in Game of Thrones. Like, he was cost for being the big insane guy. And then you have another big insane guy that's even bigger. This is him in the McDonald's. <sighs> Kevin Hart, even better. <laughs> that's even better, what? It surprises me that he fits on the magazine. The world is not made for this kind of height and size. Whenever I go outside my house, I know that the world is not adjusted to me. I accept it. It's people, okay. People are looking at you people, the entire yes, day. People are gonna stare sure. because he's Jeez. so big. For some people, this might look kind of sad because everyone looks at you like, you're so big, maybe even as a freak, he's using it as a as a good thing. Like he's using it to his advantage, which is pretty sick. Like what do you mean, sir? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is so like, freaking funny. Like he gives a it's small like, child. Hello, like, yeah. dwarf. <laughs> Nine o'clock, I arrive at Muscle Meat. It's an online sports supermarket I created with my brother and his wife. Twelve o'clock, we all go and eat together. It might be a little bit weird for outsiders, but everybody takes their crap. Food. Working at a meal prep company is perfect. So my second meal of the day is one of the meals that I prepared in my kitchen. It consists of 600 calories and between Yo. 50 and 60 grams of protein. So around three o'clock, it's uh, time for meal three. Towards the end of the working day, I'm looking forward to my training. Things I need to do, eat again. <laughs> so that's meal number four and make my... In it's what? Uh, his car is like a table for him. Then if you have to go in the car, it's literally like this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy, boy. I need to start training with a full stomach. I can't skip a meal because at the end of the day, else I won't get 6,400 calories inside of me. Not everybody can train with a full stomach. You can get nauseous, uh, bloated. For me, it works. I, I hated training with a full stomach, especially like doing handstands, stuff like that, yeah. or also just heavy work. So when I walk into the gym, the first thing I do is always look who's training at the moment because I'm training at Dojo Burning Heart. It's a gym where everybody has some kind of goal and everybody knows each other. This guy can confidently go to any gym knowing he's the biggest guy. <laughs> oh yeah, legit, I mean. Another thing that's really important for me when I go to a gym is that they have a lot of free rates. 
I, the most exercises I actually don't fit. Oh, mach oh no! machines, of course. Well, yeah, and maybe even just a regular squat rack. Just for like, cause look at this squat rack. Again, with the car, he needs to go down like this, dude. To yeah, get that, it that, like that sucks. Oh, can he do pull-ups? Whoa! You can do pull-ups. And this one irritates me the most. Oh, oh the leg shit, press. Yeah. Oh, he can't. He can't fully, like, he, he can't. can't lock out. Well, this requires me to be more creative, train with free weights, and sometimes adjust exercises to my size. But that's also good for him, I think, training a lot with free weights, because then you work on stability, like mobility, stuff like that. I actually sit oh, at a triceps yeah. machine. The way you normally do a crisis push down, I sit on the floor. So when I'm in the gym, my mind is ready, but my body still needs to have some sort of wake-up call. And that, for me, the warm-up is always very important. I do two or three sets, 15 reps, just to warm up. Like, it's so much work yes. to just get moving, like so much work. And if you're like smaller, it's just like you're just... We actually saw this with the Stolman brothers. Yes! We, we met the Stolman brothers, world's strongest man of 2022. They were sitting the entire time and almost like falling asleep. And then they uh, were awake again, and then they walked to bed, and they were tired, which makes sense. Yes, because they have to carry such a crazy body. I met many bodybuilding coaches, for instance, uh, William Bonac, uh, Kenneth von Moger. Everybody trains in a different way. Every six weeks, I change my routine. That is so true, and also so interesting, by the way. Yeah. You have people like uh, Mike Menser, who only trains once a week or twice a week, and then you have people like Arnold that train twice a day. Everybody is different. <laughs> yes, you have to find out what works for you. So I still have to eat three times. And for meal number five, that is directly after my training. He says it like he doesn't want to yeah. eat another three meals, which I kind of get. I, I think he also, really was a, a hard gainer. With my height, it's actually leading to a lot more, to the film industry. And it's pretty a dream of mine to use this body in horror movies, <laughs> as a body so arts, cool. as an ogre. That's really working out well at the moment. I mean, this is so cool. I'm so rooting for this guy. Maybe you can imagine that if you're 17, you're already two meter 10. You go, when you're 20 or 19, you're two meter 18. Everybody's staring at you. I don't really know what to do with it. I think I made it into a gift instead of a curse. He's just a living attraction. Just yeah. standing like this and then everyone's like, can I take a photo with you? He seems like a gentle giant. What a genuine <laughs> nice guy. Some guys that are big are normally jerks, but he... <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> no, that's, I mean... That's not true. After my 20s, when I started gaining weight, I really enjoyed being Shit. so tall. Shit. Crazy transformation. Yeah, but a really good one. Really steady progress. We must preserve his DNA to create the ultimate human being. <laughs> okay. Okay. Kind of scary. 10 in the first year, 15 in the second year. 10 again. Then 10, yeah. Another 10? Damn, he keeps gaining. It is a lot though. It's consistently it 10. Especially if he's in Hollywood, it's very known also to use performance enhancing drugs just because... Movies? The question remains, is it natural or not? Uh, I, I, I have no clue about this and this size. I have no clue. Meal number six is the same one as my breakfast. I start with the biggest meal and I end with the biggest meal. I'm so interested in this total amount of macros. I hope they will show the total at the end. Uh, my last meal is at three in the morning. So I wake up. He wakes up! I have my quark next to my bed. I eat, 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 like one minute, go back to sleep and that's meal number seven. Imagine setting an alarm to wake up in the middle of the night, which already sucks, by the way, also for your sleep, and it's just to eat. But I mean, he talks about metabolism and he just likes to keep his metabolism high, so... I would still, like, um, argue sleep. Total! Total! What? Sh what? She 530 grams of protein, 6,400 calories. Wow. Why so high in protein? Why like, so that high? Also because protein is more satiating, so he will feel less full if he eats that bad. I mean, it works for him. He's making gains. He has his own meal prep company of with course. like high protein meals. Probably eats that. I would do the same thing. Main question right now is, how big is his bicep? Yes. I want to know. Bicep. It's crazy that this guy stops his sleep to eat, but this guy hasn't slept in 60 plus years, which is even crazier. Make sure you check out this right here. Subscribe to so link and hit the bell. You will love this episode.